ABC Analysis for Inventory Management. ABC Analysis is something that is used by uh, procurement or purchasing uh, departments in different companies. It is an analysis that divides inventory into classes based on annual dollar volume. And the point is, it is a way to focus on the critical items, which we call A items in this ABC analysis, and not worry about the trivial items that we call C items, right? We divide products into A items, B items, C items. We say A items are the ones that are critical or most important, and we have to have special policies for them or maybe uh, spend more time improving inventory management for those products. It is a kind of Pareto rule applied to inventory. Pareto rule usually says that, you know, 80% of uh, effects are due to 20% of causes. And in this case, 80% of the, uh, the, the, the costs will be due to 20% of items. If, in the context of supply chain management, this analysis I'm showing you because I want you to see how you can make a decision to focus on uh, uh, parts of uh, the things that impact supply chain performance and avoid, you know, improving things that will have a very little impact on supply chain performance. So consider an example of uh, the 10 items that a company manages in their inventories. Uh, so we have 10 item, uh, item stock numbers. We have annual volume, number of units that the company buys and uses every year. And we have also a unit cost. Per, right, the cost per unit that the company pays to the supplier. So which items should are more most important to focus on? Well, we can see maybe those that we buy a lot of, like this item, it, we buy 2,000 units every year. Maybe this is the one we should focus on. However, you see it's, it's only 60 cents uh, per unit, so it's not actually a very expensive item. You might say this one is the most important because it has the highest price, but then the number of units is not that high. Well, it is medium, maybe a little bit lower than the medium, right? So which product should we focus on? And you might realize that the most important items will be those where the product, the multiplication of unit cost by the annual volume will be the most important. So we can actually define something called annual dollar volume by multiplying the number of units and the unit cost and then copying this here to all the um, rows. And you will see that this, um, if I use conditional formatting here, you will see that there is a huge disproportion, right? This is $90,000, whereas this is $850 only, or this one, even though it had a lot of units, it's just $1,200 spending, whereas this one has 90 or this 77,000, and these are probably the ones that are more important. I'm going to define here a sum. Maybe I'll make a space, a one row space, right? And the sum is $232. Thousand dollars. So this is how much we spend we spend on purchasing these products, right? And then um, we can see that two products actually constitute my majority of this spending: ninety thousand dollars and seventy-seven thousand dollars. So the interesting thing is to sort now this table by the annual dollar volume, annual dollar volume, largest to smallest, and see, right? which products are most important. And then we can also create a column percent of annual dollar volume. Let's maybe make it a bit wider, right? And this can be calculated as annual dollar volume divided by this, the total annual vol dollar volume. I press F4 here to add these dollars to keep the reference to the summation fixed. And now I can copy this formula down so I can copy it either by uh, dragging it down or copying and I will also change the formatting here to percent and maybe add one more digit to see a little bit more and again the, the right so the proportions here are the same as an annual dollar volume right so you see that maybe the first two products constitute in total 72 percent of all the annual dollar volume and so if I just focus on two out of 10 products, 20% of products uh, constitute uh, 
right? Uh, all, more than 70% of annual dollar volume. So I can consider these products A products, A class, right? And why am I considering them A-class? Because these are definitely the ones that I have to focus on. My spending on those products is very important. If I hold units of this inventory, I will have a very significant holding cost. So uh, managing these products uh, will be very important. And then, therefore, we should designate them as the important class, right? the A-class. Maybe I can designate the next uh, three products, B, maybe four. It's... Uh, it's a question of a judgment a little bit, right? And then maybe products, um, uh, these will be C products. They have very small annual dollar volume accounting in total for just 1.2%. So this division, I hope you see, here is a summary. Um, in this division, right, we can focus on very few products that uh, constitute a large uh, annual dollar volume. And because of this, uh, they, 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 uh, right? They are the, the source of most of our costs, right? If, if you could say 20% of products in terms of units, or if you look at annual unit vo volume, it's 18% of units that uh, impact 72% of costs, right? So it is an example of a, an uh, application of a rule that helps us discover which areas we should work on improving most in order to have a biggest impact on the overall performance of our system, in this case, on the inventory.